Today I'm going to show you how to make a clean and simple gaming banner like this one completely for free. You won't need Photoshop. I'll show you a website online where you can make this completely for free. If you're new here, be sure and subscribe. I focus on making content for small streamers and content creators like myself who are working on a budget and maybe can't afford a crazy gaming PC or a Photoshop subscription. Plus, go ahead and get right into it. All right, first thing to do, let's head over to Chrome. Let's search up our editor, which is Pixlr. Should be the first one, pixlr.com, and let's click the advanced version. So now there's gonna be a couple different options. If you're doing YouTube, you're gonna to wanna to come over to this web, 1440p. Go ahead and click it and make sure your numbers, if this isn't an option, just come over here and type in 2560 by 1440. Now the background you can leave off. Let's click create. Now you can zoom out with your scroll wheel. And for YouTube, you're gonna to have to come over here, search YouTube banner size which here's the dimensions for it, but go ahead and go to images. You're gonna look for this image right here. And then you wanna go ahead and right click on it, click save image as, and then you'll just click save. I've already got it saved a couple times, but we'll go ahead and do it again. Now you wanna click and drag this into your project. You'll click add current. If yours didn't pop up down here, it should be in your downloads or wherever you saved it. So just open it in your files and then you can click and drag it in. So obviously it's going to be pretty small. You might find a different one that fits perfect, but if not, just drag it until it does fit perfect. Now throughout this video, I'm going to be editing on a canvas that's pretty much just this size right here because I'm going to make one for Twitter. But if you're making one for YouTube, then just follow along and just copy everything I do inside this middle rectangle. So what you can go ahead and do, I would recommend grabbing your shape tool right here, coming over, adding a new layer, click empty, and then the second color will be the color of your rectangle. Let's make it white. Let's turn our stroke to zero. Make sure fill is turned on. And then I would fill this in with white. And now I would create your banner within this area right here. And then at the end, I'll show you what else you can do. But let's go ahead and go back and look at some more dimensions for Twitch and Twitter. If you're working with Twitch, 1920 by 1080 is fine if you center everything up. I think that should work. But you can also just do 1920 by 480. You can turn your background on and leave it on white. And then now you have this workspace. But what I'm going to do is create new, and I'm making one for Twitter today. So we're going to do 1500 by 500. So just make sure you get your numbers right, decide if you want a background or not. And then no matter what you know dimensions you choose, just pretty much follow the same thing I do. You just might have to make things a little bit wider, and then just make sure you center everything up. All right, I'm going to minimize my history over here and a good first thing to do would be select your colors. Now if you've watched my videos, I like this teal color so I'll stick with it. And then your second color, whatever color you pick, I'd recommend picking a bright color and a dark color. And then with the dark color, rather than going all the way black, just come about right here in this area and it'll be just a darker It'll look almost black, but a little bit of color in there goes a long way, makes the edit look a lot better. So that's good. Let's go ahead and click this plus button for a new layer. Click empty. Get this shape tool right here. And we're going to go ahead and turn the stroke down to zero. Make sure our fill is turned on. And the color of your shape or rectangle is going to be the second color. So if you want to switch it up, just switch this back and forth but I'm gonna go with the darker color. Click about right here and drag to about right there. So that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and start working with some text. Now click that plus button, click the text, I'll turn my caps lock on and type hey text. Move this to the middle. Now these little bars, if they get too close to each other, 
it'll start cropping your text. So you want to make sure they're pulled out pretty far, especially when you start resizing it. If you make it too big, it'll get cut off. So how you resize it is you have to stay on your text tool. So click back on that. You can still move it around, but that unlocks all these controls up here. And for my text, I'm going to change the color to this color out here. You can just click on it. And honestly, we're only going to use two or three colors on this. And they should be these two, which are the most recently used. So that's another little shortcut to get the correct colors. Make sure everything matches. Hit OK. Select a font that you like. I'm going to go with this one for this video. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn our size up a good bit. Maybe not that much. Probably about right there. Then we'll put it in the middle. You can play with the settings like the letter space. Spreading stuff out looks pretty good. And then if you want to make it bolder, you can just turn on your outline. That looks bad, but you can change the color to the same color as the text. And that'll make it nice and bold. I'll turn that down to about two. I like that, so I'll leave it like that. Next thing we can do is click on our text layer over here, click these three dots, and hit duplicate. Now, with this text tool selected and we have our settings up here, let's go ahead and crank it up pretty big. Maybe not that big. Really, this video, I just want to give you guys some ideas, show you how to work this editor. Don't follow me exactly. You can if you want, but I'd recommend, you know, throwing some of your own style in there, figuring some of these tools out and being more creative than I am. So anyway, what I did was make it really big and then you saw I dragged it down to almost the bottom. This layer one, I don't think it's anything. So just make sure it's at the bottom or close to the bottom. And then you can click this, uh, these three dots and we'll turn our transparency down to about 10 and that adds a nice little effect in the background. So next you wanna decide which character you wanna use in your banner, which it could be a picture of yourself, it could be your logo, it could be a Fortnite skin. What you wanna search on Google is Fortnite render and you can select any of these without a background. Like when you click on it, if it has these checkers, then that's one you want to go with like this one for example so you can select any of those i'm going to search cod render and go with captain price here i think he looks pretty cool and then you'll right click on it click save image as and again save it somewhere you can find it click save and again, like I said earlier, I recommend using Chrome because it pops up down here. It makes it really easy to just click, drag, drop, and add current. And if you don't use Chrome and you don't see it popping up down here, then it'll just be in your files. Find it in the file, click it, and drag it onto there. So let me minimize this. And as you can see, Captain Price is freaking huge. Uh, to resize it, see we still have our text tool, you want to use this pointer tool, zoom out with your scroll wheel, or using this over here, and go ahead and make him a lot smaller. Now this is where you can start getting creative, you can either, you know, you can do the full body shot, or it looks cool kind of if I zoomed in on him like this, I'll probably leave it about right here now if you're using a fortnite skin you might want to leave all the colors in there because you like the way the skin looks but for this instance i don't really care about the colors in this image so i think it looks good to come up here to well first select the layer come up here to adjustment and click here on hue and saturation and so if you want to you can just take all the color out of it and that looks pretty cool black and white or you can turn on this colorize button and now you can pick the color of your logo or the color you went with over here you know you can slide this hue to wherever you like and so you guys already know I'm gonna go in this teal blue area you can take the color out and crank it up 
probably put it about right here. You can change how dark it is. You can do a silhouette. Oh, it's kind of cool. Or white. I'm going to go about right there. Hit apply. If you come out and it still doesn't look that good, you can click back on it, click adjustment, and change the brightness of it. I might bring that brightness up a little bit. Yeah, about right there. Next, let's move our image over a little bit. And we're going to add a little outline around the side. Go ahead and hit filter and hit drop shadow. Now for your color, I'm going to go with my brighter color. Hit OK. I'm going to turn opacity up to 100, blur to 0. And then this offset X is going to scoot it to the right. So you can have it way out here, way over there. I'm going to have it about right there. Might bring it back a little bit and then drop it down maybe a little bit. Just play with those, figure out where you like it. I'll probably put it out right there. It's a nice little subtle effect that looks pretty good. And if you want to, while it's selected, you can come back up to filter, hit drop shadow again. In the default settings, add a little black shadow around it. You can just leave it right there, and that looks pretty good. Now let's add some more text. Go ahead and hit this plus button, hit text. So this is gonna be where you can type uh, be sure and subscribe you can type what kind of videos you make or maybe you want to go ahead and just add like your Twitter or your YouTube or your twitch name I'm just gonna type in streamer and content creator I think those little greater than symbols look pretty good pretty modern kind of like the style of 100 thieves edits they throw a lot of those in there so we'll put those in there space and then I'm gonna type streamer and I'm gonna throw some of these forward slashes in there some spaces and type content creator now it's too big of course but re-click your text tool come up to size and we're gonna make this super small probably about 17 looks good go ahead and drag it down here you can go ahead and change the color to your darker color. So click over here or select it right here. <clears throat> and then again, you can play with these settings. I think letter space looks really good, cranked all the way up. And then just readjust it to the center. We might can make that a little bit bigger. I'm gonna type 19, maybe even 20. That looks good. Now another cool effect, if you want to just make things hard on yourself, you can zoom in. If you hold space bar, this little hand comes up and you can click and drag around your canvas. I'm gonna click my shape tool. It's gonna be this bottom color, which is the darker color, which is what I want. I'm gonna make a new layer, empty. And then I'm gonna kind of trace this content creator area. Now what you want to do is click on your streamer content creator text layer. Go ahead and click duplicate and then drag it on top of this layer seven, which is this box I made. Then I'm going to select my text tool. I've got this layer selected and I'm going to make the color white. And so then if you double click on it, and then you click in here you can delete everything except what you made the box around if that makes sense and then I'm gonna click back on my text tool so I can move it around and I'm just gonna scoot it over and when you click it if you hold shift it'll only let you move straight right straight left straight up straight down it'll help you keep it aligned if none of that made sense, I'm sorry, just ignore it and you don't have to do that step. So at any point during this, you can be completely done. Whenever you like it, if you think just your character and your name looked good, then just be done with that. Uh, I'm going to add a few more elements that you might like. We can do more text.
So last thing I did, I just made a couple adjustments to Captain Price, turned his color down a little bit, I think it was a little too bright. And then I'm not sure how good this Twitch and Haytex, Twitch and YouTube or whatever, I'm not sure how good that was looking. So I just turned those off. All right, so real quick, I messed up in my first time making this video. I'm re-uploading it. I realized I didn't really help out people who were making this for YouTube. So what I did is I took what I made, I dragged it back on top of this YouTube template Hopefully you followed along the video and you made it inside, um, you know, this little section right here, maybe As you can see mine doesn't fit. Anyway, what you can do if you're making this for YouTube and you're following along by this outline is just use your rectangle tool. And then let me see here. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. And so you can just extend all this out. Make sure you select the same colors, of course. You can extend it to both ends. It doesn't really matter if it overlaps. You want your main stuff to be in the center so you'll always see it on mobile. You know, this, this inside border is for desktop minimum and mobile. And a tablet, you know, goes out to here. So anyway, you want your main stuff in the center. But also... Um, just to fill up if someone pulls up your YouTube on a computer you're gonna want it to go from edge to edge so just fill in these ends I can't extend the text because I can't edit it since I already rendered it out but just extend your text maybe a little further if you want to and then if you want you can uh, take this layer make a new layer and then drag it down on top of your dimensions or your template whatever you want to call it turn that on or off it doesn't matter and then you can just make a big white background or you could do this color or if you wanted to you could select your gradient and then maybe let's see here you can select your two main colors And do something like that really this area is not going to be visible on YouTube it should get cropped just to this middle stuff but it's nice to have something in the top and bottom just in case and feel free to extend your text out or your character out it just won't always be visible on a phone also one more thing I was just editing and I realized I left this out um, of course you probably noticed I added this little bar down here it's just a rectangle add a new layer click your shape tool and then add you a bar. You can add those wherever. I mean, you could even add some, you know, right here, like that. You could even take the transparency down on it. You know, you just do you. But the main thing I forgot to tell you guys was, I mean, I'm sure you could figure this out, but when you're finished, come over to File, hit Save. Uh, you can do a JPEG at full quality. I would recommend just doing a PNG. Those are the best. Name it whatever you want. PNG click download and boom there it is for you it'll either be down here on Chrome or in your downloads really like I said I just want to show you guys this editor and these tools give you some inspiration you know take this and run with it make it look a lot better than mine I hope this helps you guys if it did be sure and hit that like button and subscribe you know we're gonna keep pumping out this content free editors on a budget maybe we can give away some more overlays soon let me know what video to make next i appreciate you guys and i will see you in the next one